Guru Nation, welcome back to another episode. You probably saw me interviewing our nurse practitioner, Moombi. First time ever I got her on camera. You guys know this person, MPC, world famous MPC, Monica Paula Quitiva. Uh, we're opening a new clinic, okay? And we're looking, and, and this lady is the main person doing it. I'm just kind of hanging out right now, guys. She's going to be running the show. <laughs> so this video is like a really quick on what to look for when you're starting a clinic. So before we get into the space, because I did a video earlier, uh, a week ago or two weeks ago about the space, the most important thing is partnering with a clinician, right? And the right okay. clinician. What does the right clinician actually mean? So I think the right clinician means somebody that has interest to do research, first of all. Obviously, sometimes the, the clinicians don't know much about it, so you will want to educate them and then go from there. Then, uh, if they have a private practice, that will be ideal, just because uh, all that database will also be transferred to your site. And then, uh, also looking for, I mean, uh, 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 it can be one specialty, or you can, uh, and it will be ideal also if you have more than one specialty, like for example, psych and then um, an internist doctor that that will be great because that way the site won't draw on a studies or one particular therapeutic area right so you're not that overly dependent on one therapeutic expertise and these nurse practitioners are so underrated when it comes to medicine in general but let's just talk about clinical research because that's what we know usually they're connected with physicians like in california they have to be supervised Yes. By, a, by a physician so by getting a nurse practitioner on your team you actually are getting access to a physician who as you know you're gonna need a PI you need an MD to be the PI as much as we love nurse practitioners for the most part they are not allowed to be PI but they can be sub by and do everything a doctor does exactly and then as far as layout what are you looking for I guess it depends on the practice but Obviously, for psychiatry, you have multiple providers, healthcare providers, and multiple rooms. So you're looking for things like soundproof rooms in between each other because Medicare can audit, uh, which is something I learned today that you need the soundproof rooms for psych. Um, but you also need enough of a waiting room. It, it all depends on that private practice because research is simple with what you yeah, need. You really? just need a small uh, waiting room, then the exam room, then the a drug room, uh, then an area for patients to sign the in form of consent forms, and that the same area can be used for the monitors when they come to visit. Uh, also, an area for storage, and then the office. But in reality, with three little spaces, you can make it happen. And all, oh, and obviously the laboratory, and then uh, the exam room. Mm -hmm. And one last thing you need: you need access to public transportation so it's very important for our nurse practitioner to make sure hey are we, do we have access to public transportation are we not too far from public transportation because that's the majority of her clientele use public transportation so that's also something that you might might want to consider when looking for a space but as we move in because it looks like we found the place yeah now it's just a matter of building out and we're going to do more vlogs about it and then as People can follow the journey, Monica. Yeah. And we're going to be vlogging you all the time on this stuff. So <laughs> we got lots more, of course, when it gets to managing the site and all those kind of things. So you guys stay tuned. Thank you, Monica. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Take care.